Wow. This is a big one for me, guys. Like, you do too much drugs. You do too much drugs. Like, you do too much. Like, oh, come on. Hey, 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 do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Hey, 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 do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Hey, 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 do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Thank you for still subscribing. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so you're notified when I post videos. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about five turnoffs. Okay. This is five turnoffs. This is five turnoffs for me. I'm not going to say women in general, but this is five turnoffs for me. And I would hope these are turnoffs for other women as well. Let's get into it. Okay. Number one clingy 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 like clingy. you always want to be with me you always want to like be writing me all the time you, you want to talk all the time like every time i turn around you like can you talk right now like sweetheart i'm a mother okay and every time i don't feel like when i'm doing something for my child i don't feel like i gotta tell niggas oh like i'm doing this for my child no nigga i write back when i get the time that period is, i'll answer you when i get the time when i feel like it that's when i'll write back like i said i'm a mother i be having like it was one time this one nigga got mad because i ain't answer his call he didn't get mad but he thought i was dubbing him i was like oh lady my son had my phone she like, nah, you not, like, my nigga, I don't gotta lie to you, like, and I damn, the lie wouldn't have to do with nothing with my son. Anything with my son, I don't involve with guys I date or talk to. I separate it, because the reason why I do that is because I don't want to bring guys in my child's life if you're not here to stay. Like, if you're going to be temporary, I don't want to be bringing guys in and out of his life. I know that affects guys a lot when their mother brings guys to the house and they're putting the guy before them. That's a dub. I'm not really gonna that. My son comes first. I'll hit you when I get some time. That's it. Number two, you don't know how to be a friend first. Like a lot of guys, y'all would get a lot more if y'all just knew how to be a friend first. Like I don't know if it's old girls, but I know for me, like I like to be friends with a guy first. Like, what's up? Like, like it's Friday. What we doing? Like, what your friends doing? I'm gonna get my friends. Like, da da da. That's the type of shit I'm into. Like, I don't really like. Oh, every time we live, we going out to eat. We like we, we, we be in the crib. Like, it's cool to be in the crib. Don't get me wrong, but like I wanna like go out and have fun. Like, let's have fun together. Like, we could get to eat, get to know each other while having fun. You're fast, like you're like oh, like we go out one time, you're like oh, come over to my house, like damn, like I just met you, shorty, I don't even know your middle name, calm down. From past experience, I've learned that it's important to take your time and it's important to get to know the person first. Like you think you'll be dating person for like four, five years, you think you know them, you think you know them. Turned out they got you. Just take your time, just take your time, okay? That's like building a foundation. That's building trust. That's building communication. That's building all of that before the relationship even comes. So I'm going to be a friend first. Really. On to the third one. Okay, controlling. Okay, this is a big turn off. Something I dealt with before and it's not fun. It's not pretty. Okay. It's not good to be controlling. It's not fun at all. It's not fun when someone is telling you where and how to go. Okay, first of all, shouldn't nobody be telling you that whether they pay your bills or not. Okay, that's one thing. That's why I make sure I'm independent because I don't want no man to feel like he's holding something over my head and he's doing something for me. I'm going to have my own bag at the end of the day. Whatever he has is extra. Oh, I don't want you to go to this party. I don't want you to go to this club. Like, why are you hanging with that girl that's not your friend? Or, like, controlling stuff, just trying to control something. Like, you don't know how to match. Just be my nigga. That's it. Nothing else. Number four. You always bitching. That's a turn off. Always bitching. A nigga that's always bitching. That's a female's job. To bitch and complain and always have a problem. For a guy to always have a problem, that's a nuisance. Like, boy, you acting like you acting like my baby mother. Right? <laughs> I'm my baby father, but you're acting like my baby mother right now. 
that's how you're acting. Like, I, I, don't, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. Time for that. Like, like, niggas, I fuck with. <laughs> Who I fuck with? Dang, no, we ain't gonna get into that. Don't be bitching and always having something to say. Like, that shit is annoying. Like, I, I know guys, is that's a pet peeve for guys. Like, girls that's always complaining and bitching, but it's a lot of niggas that do that too. And y'all need to stop. Who is it? Right? Number five. This is a big one for me. Like, right? you do too much drugs. You do too much drugs. Like, you do too much. Like, marijuana? Like, okay, that's one thing. That's about to be legalized soon in a, in a minute anyway. Marijuana is about to be legalized in a minute anyway. So marijuana, cool. But you, but it's guys out there that's still in bodies. They do be hurt. They do be sand pills. They, they, they got that, uh, what's that drink, me? They got all types of shit these days. And I'm like, God damn. How drunk you gotta be? You know how lit, how lit you gotta be, brother? Like at this point, you ready for crack. Because like I can't I can't mess with no guy that's doing drugs too much. Like that's all you do. Like I can't wake up in the morning or come home from work and you sweating because you popped a molly, my nigga. It's dinner time and you take your fucking molly. Like I don't have time for that. I do. I don't have time for that. Now to each his own if that's what you wanna do. But that's a turn off for me. Like that is just so unattractive. Like First of all, when you do too much drugs and stuff, it be making you look tired. Your breath probably stinks. Like, it's a lot of stuff when you doing drugs. It's a lot of side effects after that. You feel me? Like, you taking a few years off of your life. Like, but still, y'all niggas, y'all gotta chill out. Y'all gotta chill out. Y'all gotta get some more sleep. Y'all gotta take care of yourself because it's not good out here to be talking to all them drugs, goddammit. Y'all know they put this here to kill us. Why are you drinking? Why are you taking it? Smoke you some weed. Get you some, uh, uh, 1942. Uh, uh, and you know, that's it. You good, but to each his own. That's it. I only got five turn offs. Something cute, light, simple. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for all my other videos, bitches.